on this technical demonstration, we're going to focus on sessions. So as you can see here, I'm logged in currently as Kim Rogers. She does have access to systems. And what we're going to do is we're going to open a, a session for this particular system. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select or request an account. We'll use the Omicron-A account, which she has privilege to use. We'll be prompted for the MFA or multi-factor authentication. And now she has an open session within the portal. So what I'm going to do from here, just to give it a little more of a visual effect, is I'm going to open up a couple of options here. I'm going to open up the control panel in the session, and we'll go ahead and open up PowerShell. So now we have these two options open. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this session to pre preserve some space here. And under Kim Rogers in the portal, I'm going to go over to Workspace. And let's go ahead and give this a quick refresh. As you can see down here at the bottom, Kim has an active session. So let's go ahead and minimize this browser window, and we're going to go back over to uh, the secondary browser where Alex Foster, the, the administrator, is logged into the portal. And we'll go over to the dashboards. As you can see, we have some data working here. We're going to change the dashboard from the security overview to just overview. And in doing so, we'll notice that Kim Rogers has an active session. So if I want to watch what Kim is doing for training purposes or for forensic data, I can simply right click or I can use the checkbox and then use the actions button to watch this session. And now I can see what she is doing. Now, if I want to terminate the session, perhaps maybe I need to do some maintenance on the server. Uh, I need to make sure that um, she's not doing something she's not supposed to be doing. I can go ahead and terminate the session by simply using the actions button or by right clicking on that particular session. When I do that, it'll tell me that that, term, that session has been terminated. If I go back to the session that Kim has initiated, she'll receive a message indicating that the login session has been closed by the administrator. So it's a very simple way of monitoring user activity. Uh, additionally, it can be used as a training component uh, as you can walk individuals through uh, specific uh, application instruction or configuration instructions. It is also a very good tool to use from an auditing perspective to identify forensic information uh, if it's being recorded. Thank you.